Okay, here we have the Raspberry Pi, the first release version, also known as the Model B. And here it is inside a rather nice plastic or acrylic case. This is actually made by AX Iris, and it's a Belgian company, so dot .be. Um, it's quite nice, it's got clear sides on the long sides. It's got white sides on the short ends, and the base is black. So you've got plenty of air holes on the bottom. What I particularly like about this case is that the Raspberry Pi logo on the top has been used to also uh, create the air ventilation. So these segments of the Raspberry Pi are actually cut through and uh, there's good ventilation. So really quite a nice case here. Okay, what I want to do is just quickly show you the uh, four sides of the Raspberry Pi and just go through what connectors etc you've got. On this side you've got a stereo uh, sound out. You've got uh, the yellow is the clue on this one. This is the uh, composite video out. Turning around now to the side with the power and the SD card. So you've got an SD slot uh, in which you can fit up to 32 gig SD cards. You need typically at least four gig to get um, a, a good distro package up and running. So fours to 32. Some people are saying they're having problems with them, but uh, uh, sitting my friend who's had this for a week or so has used a, a number of SD cards and not had problems up to 32 gig. Um, what you then have here is a micro B USB power adapter, so there's no on off switch as such, you literally power, plug things in, unplug, and this is uh, commonly available through um, old mobile phone chargers in Europe, we've got a standard here where you use micro B USB power supplies, so they're all the same voltage and they work absolutely fine, so a BlackBerry power supply will do the job nicely. And on this side you have um, HDMI um, output, it does HDMI and sound, it's a full 1080p image and uh, uh, absolutely does the uh, the stereo sound etc through there as well so you don't need to use the sound out in conjunction if you have HDMI sound feed going through your television for example. And on the final side we have here the RJ45 uh, network connector, it's uh, 100 megabit speed and finally here you've then got two USB connectors. So the two USB connectors, some people are having issues with uh, power hungry devices and people have been connecting, for example, uh, multi-way USB uh, dongles. So this obviously goes one to four. And while these things work with very low power devices, you may be better off Pi thinking about buying for the Raspberry Pi a powered uh, multi-way uh, adapter. I'm going to quickly now plug in SD card in. So this is an, an SD card just to let you see how it looks in this case. I'm going to slide this out of the way. Goes an upside down with the copper contacts uppermost. As you can see, the case protects it quite nicely. So it's just sticking out here. It's only a little bit proud. Um, it's right beside the power in. So the power in, if you are the kind of person that's going to unplug and plug the device, you can be careful not to keep knocking that. But I'd imagine most people are going to switch this on and off at the wall mains. Um, it's a very nice little unit and absolutely as you can see I'm going to bring a pen into scale here it is pretty small it's just a little bit shorter than a, a standard biro um, and we'll quickly do that across again just so you can see so it's just over half the length of a standard biro and uh, absolutely going to have no problems tucking that discreetly away on your hi-fi rack or in your bedroom